You'll soon discover a need to customize data beyond the dimensions and measures available directly from your data source. You'll usually use calculated fields to perform these customizations. A calculated field uses the Tableau formula language to create your own custom dimension or measure. Tableau 9 provides two different types of calculated fields, ad hoc calculations and calculated fields using the calculation editor. You may create an ad hoc calculation by double clicking on an existing dimension or measure on a shelf or card. Tableau will open the field in an ad hoc calculation where you can type more logic around the field or create a new ad hoc calculation by just double clicking on a shelf or card after an existing field. An empty ad hoc calculation will appear. Either start typing and choose fields or functions from Tableau's autocomplete list or drag dimensions, measures, parameters, or other items from the data pane into the ad hoc calculation. Ad hoc calculations must be syntactically correct. That is, all the fields, functions, and operators must be properly spelled and must meet syntax requirements of the Tableau language. If there's a problem with your calculation, Tableau will highlight the error with a red squiggly line. Hover your mouse over the squiggly to see the error message. When you're finished, just press Enter. Tableau will immediately display the ad hoc calculation on the card or shelf where you double clicked. As the name intimates, an ad hoc calculation is designed to be a one-time, quick calculation that you don't intend to use over and over. If you plan on using the calculation again on the current worksheet or other worksheets, you'll need to drag the ad hoc calculation to the data pane. Tableau will prompt you for a name, give the ad hoc calculation a meaningful name, and it will be saved in the data pane for use in other worksheets in the workbook. You may also create a calculated field with the Calculation Editor. Begin by right-clicking in the data pane. If you want to include an existing field in the calculated field, right-click on it and choose Create Calculated Field. Otherwise, right-click on a white part of the data pane and make the choice. Always give your calculated field a meaningful name. The calculation editor is taller and wider than an ad hoc calculation, giving you more freedom to type larger, more complex calculations. And if you click the small arrow on the right, you can display or hide the list of built-in Tableau functions. As with an ad hoc calculation, you may type directly in the formula and choose items that Tableau offers with its autocomplete capability double-click functions from the function list, or drag and drop fields from the data pane. Again, make sure your calculation is syntactically correct. And click OK when you're finished. Depending on the data type of the calculation, it will appear in the dimensions or measures portion of the data pane. Now, just drag and drop the calculation to a shelf or card, just like you would a traditional database field. The fields and functions you include in your calculated fields determine the data type. When you've finished your calculated field, the data type will determine the icon that appears to the left of the calculation and whether the calculation becomes a dimension or measure. You can create numeric calculations, string calculations, Boolean calculations, and date or date time calculations. It's particularly important to understand how Tableau works with data aggregation when you create calculated fields. You've probably noticed that Tableau aggregates measures when you drag them to a chart. Typically, Tableau sums numbers. Well, sometimes you may need to build your own aggregation into a calculated field. For example, if you want to test overall sales to see if it meets a goal, an initial if-then-else calculated field may not work the way you intend. 
So you need to add your own aggregation into the calculated field using built-in functions, such as average or sum. There are lots of in and outs to Tableau calculated fields. Read more detail in my book and download the related sample workbook and the Tableau formula language reference from tableaubook.com.